Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft Map Reviews. This time we're looking at a map called Reetha's Monster Survival Arena. The aim is to survive the hordes of monsters that continuously spawn in all areas of the map. You can use items dropped by mobs to purchase items in the shop located in the safe zone, which you can return to at any time. And of course you've got your rules and all sorts of cool stuff. So is this map any good? What does this map do? What happens in this map? Well you've got like a whole bunch of little vendors over here and as you kill the mobs in this place you get all kinds of different items. For example you get like rotten flesh and you can trade that for golden apples and all that kind of stuff and you get weapons and you've got an anvil here to repair weapons and items and of course you've got like different things of armor which it's all kind of vendor based. You know you get the the stuff is all based off of the stuff that you are getting off of the mobs. And of course you've got your little enchanting table over here to enchant stuff so that you can use everything. And the whole aim is to fight the big, bad, evil monsters in this place. And you've got these chests with iron swords in there. You've got four iron swords. You can play this on multiplayer as well, but it's also pretty fun as single player. The one thing that I would say with this map that I don't like, and that is the you reach a certain point where you get a whole bunch of mobs spawning, I mean tons of them, right? And you have no AoE, so it kind of becomes hard to deal with them at that stage. Die, spider! And we've got a, a whole bunch of zombies coming at me with like quartz for, for their head and all that kind of stuff. So, what do you say we actually have a look at the entire place? I just sort of went outside um, of that area. Which button is it? I always get the wrong game mode. Let's go and have a look at the whole place, shall we? There we go, that's creative. Let's go. Entering the arena. Let's go and have a look at it. It's pretty awesome. You've got this gigantic dome, for it is an arena. And you've got all of these columns, and there are all kinds of different monsters that spawn here. But then outside of here, you've also got like a whole bunch of other domes. You've got a dome over there, you've got a dome over there, another one over there, and another one over there. And there's all kinds of different monsters that spawn within these domes, and you've got to there's kind of quite a lot of stuff for you to do. There's like a bonus chest over there, which I can see from above. There's a whole bunch of bonus chests, in fact, on top of all of those different towers. And you get different mobs that spawn in each of these four things. Like, this one's kind of, I don't know, is this supposed to be like a cave? I think it's supposed to be like a cave. Though it's also got, like, little castle structures, so it's like an underground castle with towers and everything. A little bit crazy there, an underground castle, like a lost castle, a lost civilization over there, and we've got some kind of arctic area over here with a whole bunch of snow and a giant snow dome and also all this ice and all that kind of cool stuff and then over here we have like a grass one filled with lots of lush vegetation and all of that lovely stuff. Look at that, there's a gigantic lake! This is where you would want to live if of course you wanted to live in an area filled with creatures that wanted to tear you apart. So you probably wouldn't really want to live there. You really wouldn't. Anyway, you've got sort of like a, a nether kind of area here, or a nether slash lava kind of area as well. And of course all the items always have durability, but some of the mobs drop items that don't have durability. That's pretty sweet, so you can use those as well. There we go. You're pretty much, you're going to end up running out of like your iron sword before you can buy your next iron sword. You're going to like go through four of them, it's going to be quite intense. Anyway, this is quite a fun map. I wouldn't say it's something you're going to want to play constantly. It's not something I found that I really wanted to play a lot. I enjoyed it in small bursts of time. Otherwise it gets kind of monotonous and a bit boring. But you know, when you've, you've come and you've done a whole bunch of hard work in a day, you're a bit tired, you've just come from a hard day at the office or at school or university, or some kind of weird whatever it is that you do, maybe you save the universe on a daily basis. I don't know. Uh, the hard day is saving of the universe. It's nice to go in here and just punch some zombies in the face and punch some spiders in the face and stab some creepers and, and, and hack and slash and just mindlessly destroy stuff. It would be quite a lot of fun to play this with friends as well. You could do some cool coordinated team stuff. It is quite a fun map. I enjoyed it for sure. I definitely enjoyed it. I thought it was quite good. And you can play it for a long time. But like I said, it's best played in small bursts, I would say. And if you cheat, don't cheat. Seriously, if you cheat, it just instantly kills the fun. Um, it doesn't matter what you cheat for. You can cheat for anything, even like a tiny little cheat. Maybe to go and help you get your items back. But if you cheat at all, right, it instantly kills the fun of the game. That's how I found it anyway. So you really do not want to cheat, unless of course you really feel like killing the fun of the game. But I wouldn't advise it. 
Anyway, that's it for this quick little review of this lovely little map called Reetha's Monster Survival Arena. Where you must survive hordes of, well, monsters. They're monsters. Anyway, ciao.